Welcome to Chef's Choice with Citizens Gas. I'm Angela, and joining me today is Dave from Dottie's Kitchen right here in Indianapolis' downtown city market. Dave, you have a whole smorgasbord of ingredients spread out for us today. What are we making? We're making uh, vegetable soup, meatless, although we have a, a beef base. All right. And uh, all the ingredients are natural, inexpensive. We're making a large pot, and we'll be able to share meals for the well, Ooh, so we have weeks. we have leftovers we'll always appreciated get, and i gotta your, tell you oh go ahead no get your containers ready because we're gonna freeze it after we're done <laughs> <laughs> sounds great and you know now that the weather has turned cold in central indiana a hot pot of vegetable soup sounds just delicious so tell me what we've got spread out over here okay today we're going to start with the uh, beef au jus which we've got boiling all right and that will be here we're going to add to that a can of uh, tomato juice diced tomatoes garlic celery chopped lima beans, peas, we have chopped uh, onions, mm -hmm. green beans, corn, carrots, potatoes, and cabbage. My goodness. So, you know, I understand that even though you've got quite a few ingredients spread out here, this is actually a fairly economical dish to make, correct? Very economical, and, and at the same time, you're going to get several meals, depending on the size of the family. And it's got to have a lot of nutritional value here with all these vegetables you've got spread out. Yes, indeed. All right, so how do we get started? Well, we're going to start adding the ingredients to the boiling water, okay. or the boiling broth, excuse me. We've added uh, one gallon of the uh, uh, beef uh, au jus. Okay. If you'll start ca ca cutting up the cabbage for I me. I sure will. And the potatoes. Okay. We're going to add garlic, or six tablespoons of garlic, one can of uh, tomato juice. Now All right, a, so you've got that simmering in there. Yes, and right. a nice thing about cooking with gas, you can you can have instant heat. We're uh, adding the ingredients, the temperature's going down, so we're just going to turn it up here a little bit. So you just give it a kick up and boom, it, the you know gas heat just powers you know, up right away? If you have an electric stove, you'll have to wait. But if you've got gas, you've got instant heat, you're right here, ready to go. All right. Well, we're going to add the celery. What's next? Let's add some lima beans. Don't forget, you can download Dave's recipe for vegetable soup anytime. Just go to citizensgas.com or recroom.com. Okay, I'm almost done chopping my potatoes over here, so we just have to dump the rest of this in. Mm-hmm. All right. Here's your green beans, sir. Okay, thank you. Uh -huh. So once you get this all mixed together, um, how long do you need to let it simmer? Because I know soup, you know, if you really want the flavors to blend, you got to let it simmer all together there in the pot. Yes, I like to cook for two hours. I like to simmer, and then we want to uh, stir occasionally. Okay. Well, and so you're going to let it simmer for two hours, and again, you've got your nice, steady natural gas flame going there. Yes, and, and you know, that's so nice about the natural gas, because you can just put that temperature exactly where you want it. Just turn it up a little bit, turn it down a little bit. And I find that cooking with electric, it, it's that's difficult. Yeah. Because you turn it up a little bit, you got to wait and see if it's going to work. <laughs> you know, so, that's not the way we do right. it here. Natural gas, the choice for impatient cooks everywhere. Oh, the here only you go. way. That's right. All Thank right. You. All right. So you get your potatoes in there, and now we're going to let that simmer for a couple hours, correct? Yes, indeed. Okay, so Dave, we've let the soup simmer now for two hours, and it has just simmered down into this beautiful looking soup that smells fantastic. This is how it goes, you simmer it down? Yes, yes, this is a, a beautiful pot. I like what we did today. Oh, well, me <laughs> but, too, uh, I can't wait to try it. You wanna top it off a little for me here? Okay. Thank you. All right, while I taste this, and it smells terrific, tell us a little bit about Dottie's Kitchen for people you who know, maybe haven't been there before. Dottie's Kitchen has uh, five different soups each day. Is this one of them? This is one that we uh, carry quite often. This is uh, Dottie's recipe. We have mm. uh, soup, salad, sandwiches, and uh, everything served fresh. It sounds great, and I have to tell you, that soup is fantastic. It is just the kind of thing that your family will be craving when they get home on one of these cold Indiana winter days. Dave, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you for having me. That's it for us for right now, but don't forget, you can watch Chef's Choice with Citizens Gas anytime. Comcast Video On Demand, RecRoom.com, or CitizensGas.com. I'm Angela. That's it for us today here from Indianapolis City Market. See you next time on Chef's Choice with Citizens Gas.